वेलकम टू मैरी माता स्कूल ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन वेलकम टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो सेशन इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस योर चैप्टर फर्स्ट कैटेगरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एंड कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेजेस हियर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सच एस माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स मिनी कंप्यूटर्स पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स सुपर कंप्यूटर्स लैपटॉप्स एंड टैबलेट माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स दीज कंप्यूटर्स आर स्मॉल इन साइज एंड कॉस्ट लेस दे आर यूजली डिजाइन फॉर पर्सनल यूज दियर फोर दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स और पीसीज दे आर मेनली यूज इन होम्स स्कूल्स ऑफिस शॉप्स बैंक्स एक्सेट्रा दीज आर द टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ माइक्रो कंप्यूटर IBM PC and Commodore 64 types of micro computer this is the first type of micro computer desktop computer we use this desktop computers commonly in our home offices bank school universities and colleges if we are going to define the desktop computers so these computers are designed to fit comfortably on the desk desktop computers typically come with several units such as monitors cpu keyboard and mouse which are connected to the each other and work like a single unit another category of micro computer is laptop computers this is the image of laptop computers laptop computers these computers are small in size and can be placed on the lap these are battery operated and portable we can perform all tasks in it as we do on a desktop but laptops are more expensive than desktop we can fold down the screen of laptop onto the keyboard when not in use these computers are mainly used by people who travel a lot laptops usually have 13 to 15 inch screens another example of micro computer is tablet computer This is the image of tablet computers. I hope you watched this tablet in your daily life. These computers are smaller and lighter than laptops computers but bigger than smartphones. Instead of a keyboard and mouse tablet used to touch sensitive screen for typing. Tablets are used for reading books, watching movies, viewing photos, browsing net etc. another example of micro computer is palm top computers this is the image of palm top computer palm top computer is a small size that can fit in the palm of your hand the device has similar features as that of computer it has a small screen and compressed keyboard within it another example of micro computer is handheld device this is the image of handheld device As you see the traffic police person is used this handheld device for giving information to headquarters handheld device devices that are small in size and can be easily held in the hand are called handheld devices these can be conveniently carried in the pocket smartphones tablet computer are a few example of handheld devices the handheld device devices or computers are also called personal digital assistant now another example of micro computer is smartphone i hope now you are watching this video on your smartphone this is smartphone one of the largest using unit of micro computer in worldwide smartphone smartphone is a handheld device that combines features of a personal computers with other common features of a mobile phone it can be used for making and receiving calls text messaging web browsing and capturing images etc another example of micro computer is game console this is a example of game console commonly children are playing games with the help of game console 
गेम कंजोल ए गेम कंजोल इज द डिवाइस यूज टू प्ले इंटरेक्टिव वीडियो गेम्स दिस डिवाइस इज इक्विप्ड विद द डिस्प्ले स्क्रीन गेम कंट्रोल्स एंड स्पीकर्स इट कैन आल्सो बी कनेक्टेड टू अ टेलीविजन और अ कंप्यूटर सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ गेम कंसोल्स आर सोनी प्ले स्टेशन नाइंटेंडो गेम क्यूब एंड नाइंटेंडो वाई Another example of microcomputer is embedded system. These are the several examples of embedded systems like cameras, game machines, electronic books, tablet, television, industry airlines, space, broadcasting, medical, digital signage, digital signage, amusement machines, printers, cars, mobile phones, smartphone embedded system. Embedded system is one that has a computer hardware with software. Embedded are implanted into a larger device. It comprises of all the essential computer components like CPU, RAM, ROM, input and output medium, but does not have disk drive, keyboard or screen. Some example of embedded systems are TV sets, vehicles, telephones, digital cameras, washing machines, microwaves, printers this washer and medical equipment now the another category is mini computer this is the image of mini computer mini computers these computers are bigger in size than the micro computers typically being the same size as that of the refrigerator they have a higher processing speed and are costlier than micro computers these computers are capable to support about 4 to 200 users simultaneously they are used in banks universities and in other big organization now the another category is mainframe computer this is the image of mainframe computer mainframe computer these computers are very powerful they are big in size with the large memory and high speed they are designed to tackle huge amount of data more than 100 users can use a mainframe computer simultaneously these computers are used in network environment mainframe computers are very expensive and mainly used for bulk data processing in large business organization universities banks and scientific laboratories airlines etc now the another category is super computer this is the image of super computer they are most powerful computer with a huge processing speed these computers are used for weather forecasting space research satellite control etc some example of super computer are pdp8 hp2100 micro vax3100 now we are going to discuss the computer language students you already know that a computer understand only the machine language hence a program written in any other computer language has to be converted into the machine language first to translate any high level language program to the machine language level language a software is required this software is called a language processor or a language translator there are three types of language translator but before discussing these three part we have to discuss these two things programs and programming a program is a set of instruction that tells the computer what to do programming the process of writing specific instruction in a computer language is called programming programming languages are programming languages are classified into two types one of them is low level language and another is high level language and low level language further classified into two types machine language and assembly language and high level languages are classified into three types third generation language and fourth generation language and fifth generation language so we are going to discuss now machine language or first generation language machine language or machine code is a low level languages comprised of binary digits 1 and 0 high level languages such as swift and c++ must be compiled into machine language 
before the code is run on a computer. Now the assembly language or second generation. This language uses mnemonic codes or symbols in place of 0 and 1. Assembly language is also machine dependent like the machine language and programming in this language is quite time consuming does it also regarded as a low level language. Now another is high level language or we can say third generation language. The third generation language are more abstract than previous generation of languages and thus can be considered higher level languages. Then their first and second generation. Counterparts first introduced in the late 1950s. Photon, Algol and Cobol are examples of early third generation languages. Now we are going to discuss the fourth generation language or we can say high level language. Fourth generation language or 4GL, fourth generation computer programming language. Fourth generation language are closer to human language than other high level languages and are accessible to people without formal training as programmers. They allows multiple common operation to be performed with a single programmer entered command. Now language processor or language translator. A software which converts source program into the machine codes is called language processor. We know that machine understand only machine codes that is 0 and 1 or binary digits. Now what is language processor? We already know that a computer understand only the machine language and a program written in any other computer languages has to be converted into the machine language first to translate any high level language program to the machine language a software is required. This software is called a language processor or a language translator. Here are three types of translator. One of them is assembler and second compiler and third one is interpreter. Assembler. Assembler is a software which convert assembly language into machine language or which convert source code into object code. Translator programs that is used to convert the assembly language programs into machine language is known as an assembler. A program written in assembly language is called the source program whereas the program converted into the machine language by the assembler is called object program or object code. Now we are going to discuss the interpreter. As you are watching in left hand side there is written hello in English and in right hand side there is written hola hola in Spanish. So interpreter interpret the English into Spanish. Similarly this translator program is used to convert a high level language program into machine language. An interpreter translates line by line executes the instruction and then repeat the procedure for the remaining instruction. If any error are found they are to be removed immediately as the converted form is not stored anywhere. So it has to be generated at the time of execution of a program. Interpreter programs are preferred for beginners and are slow in execution speed. Now compiler. Compiler is a software that convert high level language into low level language and remove completion error. Compiler is a translator program used to convert a high level language program into machine language. Compiler translate the whole program at once that is it generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors. The execution speed of compiler is faster as compared to interpreter. Now your chapter is finished. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.